Hey guys, Don Rice here. And <clears throat> this is the finished tail hook for my Corsair. So we watched the layup. This is uh, that flat area on the bottom of the hook. And uh, you can see that it's hollow inside, just like the real one. It's a little rough on the back side here, but I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to leave it like that, first of all, because there's very few instances when you would be able to see that on the model. And secondly, um, the real one appears to be kind of sand-casted and looks fairly rough as well. So, uh, you know, got a light coat of primer on here, done a little bit of sanding. Uh, I think it's just about done. And um, you can see that there are some imperfections on the outside. I just need to do a little bit of sanding, a little bit of priming. But there's also a little bit of... Um, there, there's a little bit of waviness in it. And I'm okay with that too. I think that kind of adds to the realism of the part. So I have um, on the inside here, let's see if we can get the light to show it. This, hang on. So this piece right here is uh, an aluminum, square aluminum channel that. Uh, I added a bunch of carbon chop in here and forced it down inside that aluminum channel and around the edges and uh, and there are holes drilled in the side of that aluminum channel for glue and carbon to kind of lock onto this aluminum channel. Um, this is another piece of aluminum channel. This one slides into it and was high sawed in place. Uh, and then these 256 bolts run through both aluminum channels, and they're all high sawed in place. Um, and then it transitions into a round channel. There's a smaller round channel that uh, goes about halfway down here and a half inch into this one that locks these together. They are all roughed up on the inside and high sawed together. All right, so and then um, the complete length. And so this fits on to the Sierra gear like that. Now I showed you this before. This is uh, some brass stuff that I made up um, to uh, for the actuator. This is just a test push rod that I put in place um, to connect up to uh, this piece of brass. So this would be the the actuator arm. Uh, a servo will connect to this somehow at some point. Uh, and right now, um, this is just a test piece. It's got holes drilled every quarter of an inch. And I started with the push rod connected to the second hole here and adjusted it so that when the gear was retracted in the airplane, um, the hook was in the right place. And then when I moved the gear into the out position, the hook should still be in the same place, uh, but it wasn't. It was coming out about four inches outside of the airplane. So that's bad. Uh, so I just kept walking it out. And in this position right here, it seems to be um, very close to keeping the hook um, in the correct position whether the gear is in or out. So um, let's take a look at that. So zoom out a little bit here and you can see um, I'll hold this in, in one position and as the gear retracts Come on, there we go. You can see that the geometry of the hook has to change in relation to the wheel, but the intention is to try and keep the hook 
you know, in the same place, whether the, the gear is up or down. And so let's, let's go ahead and put it in the airplane. Okay, so with this mounted up, right now, you know, I just got, I just got one screw holding it in place, but it's all locked in exactly where it should be. And um, you can just make out the push rod down here. And um, there's, a, there's a bulkhead down here. You can see the wood. And I've got the, that brass um, perforated metal kind of resting up against that bulkhead as a, a gauge. That's where I'm calling um, the uh, retracted position for the hook. And um, with it in that position, the hook, uh, the hook actually sits um, in what looks like a good scale position. So we'll take a look at it from a different perspective here. Okay, so this is a side view looking at the bottom here. The gear doors are closed and you can see the hook here. There's a good bit of play in the system, um, which I'm going to try and figure out how to remove some of that. But, uh, you know, we've got two control horns, two clevises, uh, all threaded together. Uh, and this is not locked onto uh, that rotating hingey thingy um, that's on the tail gear yet either. But there's a good bit of play. Um, so I know that when it's sitting on the ground, gravity is going to hold it right about there, which to me looks perfect. Um, so I'm okay with that. Even if I don't get rid of all the play, uh, this will sit where it looks right. Um, Alright, and so then the gear doors will open. And, uh, and then the gear comes down. I'll hold the push rod uh, in one position and you can watch the the hook uh, I'll try and hold the push rod in one position this would be easier with the servo alright so you can see the the hook actually moves up into the fuselage um, a little bit and and then comes back down into the original position um, I suspect there's very little I'm going to be able to do about that and my level of carrying can be measured in micro give a shit. So uh, the bottom line is I want it to be right there when the gear is down. And I want it to be where we were just looking at it when the gear is up. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And um, yeah, okay, could it be maybe, you know, a quarter of an inch closer to the fuselage? Yeah, maybe. But again, uh, I don't care. So when we actuate the arm, it probably goes out of the uh, the frame of focus. <laughs> but that's what we're looking at right now. So we'll zoom out a little bit. Actuating the arm. So that's the idea. Okay, there you go. Operating tail hook, Corsair. Woohoo! Later.